In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this packaging for my painting from a much larger box. The box you see behind it is a mirror box, which measures 37 by 27 inches, which is enormous for me to carry and handle and ship. So I decided to make a smaller one. The smaller one measures 28 by 22 inches, which is much more manageable for me. And the main purpose of making this box is so that I can carry it on an airline or check it in as luggage. Let's get started. What I did so far was to cut a mirror box in, in half. So this is the mirror box that it came in. I cut it in half and that's where this half is coming from. And then to actually leverage the flap so that I don't have to cut too much, I shifted the whole uh, painting to the end, to one end of the box. And so this forms one angle. And then the next thing that I did was to measure out how much spacing that I wanted on its side. I figured two inches is enough on its side to put some padding and just so it's not bulky with me when I'm carrying it. So I marked that off with my tape measure and a right angle ruler. And then so I don't have to, you know, cut too much or make my own edge. What I did was to cut exactly what I needed, which is 22. And then I'm going to cut maybe two inches here so I can use this flap two inches here and then I'll kind of glue it on the inside like two inches here and so it forms its own flap. This is what the bottom portion of the package looks like. The next step is to make the exact same copy of this, but make it a tad bit smaller, like 0.25 inches smaller on each side, so that I can flip it over and fit it snugly into this uh, portion. This is the front facing part of the box. When I measured it, this from this edge right before the flap to this edge right before this flap is 27.5, which is perfect because the box that I'm, I want to put it in is 28. So I only have to cut one side. And since these are already pre-cut flaps already. So what I did was to make a, a slim, a really, really thin slit across the corrugated portion of the box. Okay, I'll show it here as an example. So this is a corrugated portion. As you can see, the reflected light. Um, I just made a really tiny, tiny, Slit here it did not even make a dent um, which made it weak enough to fold so that's how I got my flap okay so the two sides are completed going to try and flip the top over to see how it fits. The next step is just to tape around the box as tightly as you can. That is it. That is how I made the box.